Hey, what's up? This is Nikki Twist on Winksound.com, and I'm about to show you a tutorial on automating VSTs in Cubase. So now we have our MIDI pulled up, and we need to do something cool with it. We can't just have it sitting here. We need, let's get a little advanced here. We're going to show you some automation. So what we're going to do for automation here is we're going to pull up our VST. You left click right here on uh, the left side of the track. And it's going to pull our VST up. There's actually two ways to go about the automation. You can pull up editing track of the VST. Hit the plus sign on the left and it shows you right here what you're going to be automating and then you can pencil it in. But I find a quicker way to automate a specific thing is going back to the MIDI track, opening up the VST, you push write, which is going to write your automation, and you push play, and then whatever knob you move will automatically be automated, and then when you click on the plus sign on the editing track, it's going to pull it up right away so you don't have to go search for it. So now I'm going to show you how I do this. I hit write first, I pick a knob, which I want to automate, I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to move the knob, hit stop, turn the right off because we're not writing the animation anymore. We want to read it, so we hit read on the left. Okay, so we're going to come to our left, click on the editing track, and hit the plus sign, and our automation should pop up under there. We come back to our automation. Now, if that's not exactly how you want it. You could uh, erase the dots here that show your automation. You could physically put them in, again, which to me makes the track perfect because everything is on time. There's no room for human error. So I could start low and bring my automation up high. Now when I push play, it should automatically be moving the cutoff to the way I assign the line. These are some basic tips to have you automating, which should pretty much open up your world of VSTs here. Once you start automating, you could do anything. I hope these clips were able to help you out with what you want to do in Cubase and help you move in the right direction with this music. Now, if you have any more questions, you can reach me at NikkiTwist at Winksound.com, the new social video network for audio creators.